Hello everyone, my name is Kodamore and welcome back to Godot Basics. I have a simple scene here with a couple of sprite nodes, and attached to my player sprite node, I have a script. This script has three functions, ready, process, and physics process, probably some of the most widely used functions in GDScript. First is the underscore ready function. This function runs whenever the node that this script is attached to enters the scene tree. So whenever our player enters the scene, or effectively becomes visible in this case, then that underscore ready function will run before anything else. So if I print out ready and we go ahead and run the game, we should see a single printout with the word ready in our output and our game starts up. Next is the underscore process function. This function runs many, many times every single second. So it runs over and over and over again. It also takes this parameter called delta. That's a float value that we'll talk about in another episode. So if we print something out in the process function, such as process, we'll see that if we run our game, we're going to see a lot of process outputs. And I can stop the game here. You'll see that it output that many, many, many times. And that happened after our single call to the ready function. So this process function might be a good place for some input, possibly, or moving around some object that doesn't have to do with physics. Which brings me to the next function, this physics process function. This is very similar to process. It also runs many, many times a second and it also has this delta value as a parameter. So what's the difference? Why do we need two of these? Well, the physics process function tries to run at equal time intervals. So that means when one physics process function is called, the time between the next one, and then the next one after that, and the next one after that, is going to be as consistent as possible. And that's really important for the physics engine that Godot has to be able to operate properly. Whereas the process function here, you have no guarantee that it's going to be called at equal time intervals. It might be a little shorter between one called process and the next, and then it might be a little longer the next time it's called. So if I replace this print with a pass, and I instead print physics process in my physics process function, and we run the game, you're going to see that it too begins outputting a bunch of physics process statements every single second. The difference is this one is more guaranteed to be run at more equal intervals. It's hard to know when to use process versus physics process sometimes, but you'll get the hang of it as soon as you begin game programming with a Godot. 